This video has been supported by my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can give you guys regular content and updates. It also helps me improve my channel and go to overseas conventions more often. So what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Patreon and from just $1 a month, you can support me and the channel, get personal fursuit making help, and get some great rewards. Hope to see you there. Enjoy the video. Do you guys know those kids? The ones who think they can get away with literally anything? Now, I don't know how many of you have fursuited around kids, but here's some of my stories fursuiting around those kinds of children. I've had kids abuse my fursuits in a million and two ways. Sometimes they'll come up and poke your eye mesh, like, how do you see out of here? I once had a kid seemingly weld themselves to my leg and not let go. Where are the parents of these kids, you ask? Who knows? It's a mystery of sometimes. People might not know this, but as a fursuiter, we really can't do anything to remove troublesome children. Or parents could very easily accuse us of doing some uh, unsavory things. Uh, ma'am, can you show me the person who touched your child? It was them, officer! I've had some terrible interactions with people's crotch spawn before. However, there has to be one interaction that stands out most for me. So for those of you who don't know, I go to a local fur meet most weeks. Near our meeting point is a playground and often we will go in there and interact and play with the kids because, you know, it's often a lot of fun. This particular day, I decided to venture in without a handle and I do not go near children without a handler. I'll be ready to break the magic and break their little sweethearts. So. In the playground on that particular day, there were three boys. Uh, about year four or five, I guess, they were interacting with me fine until they decided they could get away with things. Now these kids, they were the kind that looked like they'd be the bullies of their school, you know, kind of either completely bald or like, you know, spiky hair, broad shoulders, kind of chubby, you know the ones. They started pulling on my tail. So, you know, I took it off them, held it under my arm, was like, no, do not do that. Do not. And they continued doing it. Okay, whatever. Annoying. I gestured for them to stop again. And they pulled it a third time. This time they pulled. I felt some of the belt loop seams give way in my tail. I knew one more tug and that thing would come clean off. So I decided that next time they pulled, I'm going to teach them a lesson. I waited for them to give the tail one last tug and rip. My tail came clean off, just as I anticipated. Instead of doing what most people would do, you know, take your head off, get angry at them, take your tail back, I decided to let out the most blood-curdling scream. It was like the demons of hell had been released out of my mouth. You know, my eyes rolled back, a little bit of blood came out. You know, the drill. These kids all of a sudden stopped their giggling, dropped my tail on the ground, and bolted like hell. I've never seen two little skinheads run faster. It was glorious, and you know what? I bet they haven't harassed a costumed performer since. Now, unfortunately, it's not just the younger kids who decide to pick on fursuiters, it's the older kids too. And arguably, those guys are more dangerous. Just recently, me, Balto, and a whole bunch of other furs we went out to Redcliffe, which is right by the ocean and has a beautiful pier. For the photo shoot, we all walked to the end of it to get some photos done. And it was a fairly hot day, so there was a whole bunch of families and kids taking a swim off the end of the pier. Balto, uh, bless him, decided to go have a chat with them. And a 13, 14-ish year old girl started looking at him and being absolutely terrified. As time went on, something must have changed or shifted as she started pulling on his tail. Belt did the usual thing of, you know, pick it up, put it under your arm, go, no, do not do that. And, you know, tried to walk away because you kind of want to get out of that situation. And what did she decide to do? Run up and pull out his entire ass tongue, of course. Just, you know, just, just rip, poof, gone. So what did he do? Take his head off and have a go at them, of course. Nothing screams, I'm pissed, like a sweaty 21 year old asking for his tongue back. I think they left us alone after that somehow. However, not all kids are bad. And I'd like to share a particularly heartwarming experience I had. One day when I was at the fur meet, we were coming back from the fursuit walk and we ran into a brother and sister around five to seven years old. First thing I noticed is the sister had hospital bandages on her arm. She walked over to me out of curiosity and said hi. She said hi back, she asked for a hug, etc, etc. Me and another fur chatted to their mother 
for a bit and found out she'd been in hospital for the last month or so. I can't remember what she had, but you get the picture. The mother said it was so nice to run into us, as at least it let the kids do something and have something interesting to do rather than sit around in hospital. At this point, most of the first suitors had headed back to the barbecue, so we invited them to come back with us. As we started walking back, I felt a little hand grab onto my finger and looked down and to see the little girl holding my hand and honestly my heart just like melted. It was so cute. As we head back to the barbecue, my friend started showing the girl some of the angel dragons, you know, being cute and tripping. So while she was distracted, I went and took off my head and my paws and went back and introduced myself to the mother and the kids. I then had an idea. So I asked the little girl if she would like to try on the sky. She said yes. We put on the tail and then the paws and then the head which was met by many awes from around the meat as a three foot tall version of Sky started running around. After about 10 minutes of photo taking, I asked if she wanted to take it off. I was a bit worried she was gonna over meat. She said no and scampered off to play with other fursuiters. It took quite a bit of convincing to get her to come out of suit and go back to the hospital. This happened way back in 2016 and it still makes me smile to this day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time of mine. Would you want to see more of these in the future? Let me know down there. The fan art feature for today is Armour Stray on Instagram who gave me this awesome headshot. Look at the eyes! They're so cute! Ah! So go check them out, their links will be down below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now. Lick.